This is Sumatra E10 uh, schedule exercise. The function of uh, grids and snap were added to this schedule. So before we do this exercise, we need to open the new file. Okay, select the file a uh, part, sorry, and then click OK. After that, we go to a uh, sketch and then we press middle mouse button to select the XY plane. Okay, next we want to check the grid and snap option. Okay, they have two ways to check it. Uh, first, we can press the middle mouse button and the uh, uh, right mouse button together and then select grid and snap. Okay, the second one is from view, grid and snap. Okay, here is tick. So I click again. Okay, it's show already. Okay, now we go to view, grid snap, the setting. Okay, so they have a uh, three option here when turning on the grid and snap. The first one is show grid and use snap. The second one is um, show grid only, and the third is use uh, snap only. So you can try by click, <coughs> click apply, see the difference. So I want to use a show grid and use snap. And the grid side I maybe can change to 15. Okay, you can see the difference. Click apply. Yeah, of course I want is 10 only. <coughs> and the bow line now it's 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I can increase it or decrease it. Okay. And the grid types I uh, have two. We can select lines or select point. Okay, and the grid style can select this or other options. And the also, uh, we also can change the color. Okay, uh, the snap size I want is one. Um, this is step two. Next, we will create a uh, ellipse. So we go here and select the ellipse function. Okay, after that, uh, click the free to. Uh, change it to dimension option and we show the construction lines and the x exit uh, is 400 and y exit is 200 okay after that we uh, click at the UCS here for the first uh, ellipse after that we move it uh, here Okay, and click somewhere here for the second ellipse. After that, we can press middle mouse button to exit from the uh, ellipse function. Okay, and then we go to filter, a uh, constraints filter, and make sure the skip all constraint is selected. Okay, after that, can close this constraint. Okay, and then we go to uh, the circle and we pick for the oh sorry before that make sure the radius is 20 okay after that click here and here okay and then sorry is here okay and then we move it and click for the first one okay after that you can, uh, we need to exit the schedule. This is exit the schedule, or you can right click and then select exit schedule. Okay, after we exit the schedule, now we go to solid, new, extrude, change to ISO view, and then is one side, the delta or reference option is selected, and then it's 100. So click OK. Symmetron E10, we can select axis to define the uh, sketch plane. 
beside uh, press the middle mouse button to select the XY plane okay now we can uh, go to sketch and then we select the Y axis and X axis so it automatically will create the plane okay after that we can press middle mouse button to exit we will use the delete constraint and relations uh, function so the first thing what we need to do is uh, select the add geometry icon and then we select these four um, circle okay after that you can press middle mouse button to exit okay and then we go to a uh, sketcher tools and select delete constraints and relations okay here I have uh, three uh, options. Okay, the first one is geometrical constraints to remove uh, geometrical constraints such as tangent, coincident, and so on. And uh, this is the result. And the second one is uh, dimensional constraints. Okay, this is and this is the result. And the third one is external relation is free the free added geometry. Okay, and this is the result. Okay, now uh, we check only the external relations. Okay, after that we uh, pick these four uh, circles. And then click OK. Okay, in Simatra item we can change the dimension by dragging the arrows. So the first thing what we need to do is uh, give the circle dimensions. So we go here, select the uh, dimension icon, and then click this uh, circle, and then click on the display area. And the dimension is uh, 50. Okay, after that, press middle mouse button, and then we go to uh, add constraints icon, and we pick these four circles. Okay, and then we select this same value icon. Okay, after that, uh, press middle mouse button to exit. Okay, now we uh, press uh, this arrow head and then we drag it until 60. Okay, this is um, so the other four also change for the dimension become 60 mm. Okay, after that, we can exit the sketcher, right click, select exit sketcher, and then we go to solid, remove, extrude. Um, the arrow will be pointing downward, and the delta here is 30. Okay, after that, right click, select OK. Okay, we can uh, select the sketcher beside uh, right click beside using this icon okay after that we click the top edge and then we uh, select the circle icon and the uh, uh, radius is 20 click it here and then press with the mouse button to exit okay next is about delta filter now we need to invoke the selection filter we go to um, point icon and then click a uh, left mouse button and right mouse button together and then select delta click ok and then we um, put it on the ucs origin and the x here value is 500 and click apply okay after that make a circle then press mouse a uh, middle mouse button right click uh, exit sketcher and then go to solid remove extrude true uh, we use the true uh, option and one side okay after that right click select ok and this is the final result